I'm back in Soul Warriors where I'm gonna be collecting all the rarest swords in the game. And when I mean rarest, I mean all these swords are in rainbow right here. Which are the rarest swords to get in the game, whether it's the eggs, spending Robux, or even grinding for them. And what's gonna make collecting these swords super hard is some of them you have to grind to get inside of the Eternal Hall. We have to fight waves of enemies to get gems to buy some of these unique swords. And as for the rest, you have a 0.1% chance to get some of these unique swords inside of these eggs. Which means whether the sword is strong or weak, it's gonna be difficult to get. But I'm gonna make it happen no matter how much time it takes. So enough yapping, let's get collecting. This is gonna be such a pain because my luck is not the best. So I'm hoping I get really lucky to get all these swords. But I did come prepared. I got 453 trillion gems, which will help get us a jump start on getting some of these swords. Before I do that, let me get rid of the rest of these swords because I need to make as much space as possible. So much as I like these swords, it's time for y'all to go. Only the rainbows can stay. All right, so let's see. As of right now, I have the world's end, Vineyard, and then I also got the great sword of the Holy Knight. That's only three swords out of a bunch more. So we have a lot of work to do. So I think I'm gonna start off with some of the world eggs. As you can see right now, there's no super rare swords inside of map one map two but it starts at map three so the first sword we're going to try to grind for is the magma demon and the good thing about getting these swords at low levels they're going to cost nothing really i have 400 trillion gems so it's going to barely put a dent in my account all right so where is this magma egg it's not there it's not there okay it's this egg 12 million gems oh that's easy <laughs> so i'm gonna go and buy this lucky one which is 200 that's a good price all right let's do this what triple luck Mm, 600 robux ah uh, you know what let's do it because i don't have time to sit there and no 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 wait wait we'll wait we'll wait let's do one at a time okay i take that back let's do triple hatch there we go bro what a 0.15 percent chance to get this sword are you serious that is horrible oh my god yo i'm so nervous wow we got a legendary okay we might get it I'm feeling lucky already. We was able to pull a legendary, so we're getting closer to our goal. Yeah, this might take a while, so I'm going to let you guys know when I get it. Because who knows how long this is going to take. A few moments later. Y'all wouldn't even believe me if I told y'all, but I've been sitting here for 40 minutes still waiting to get the last sword of this egg. And this is just the first egg, which is crazy. I'm starting to think the creator of this game put the super lucky pass in there just so you can buy it to hopefully get yourself a lucky chance. Like, I was able to get a Mysterious, which is a 0.3% chance to get, which is only 0.20% higher than this sword, and I still had no luck getting this. I was able to get the Mysterious three times. Think about that, three times, and I still did not get this sword. After an hour and 30 minutes, we finally got our first sword. And when they actually give you this sword, I'm assuming because I don't own it yet, it pops up right in the middle of your screen. So let's see what this bad boy looks like. Oh, look at that beauty. Wow. 1,000. 1,498 damage. I mean, it's completely trash to me right now because, you know, my sword is super strong, but it's still probably strong if you got this in the beginning. Oh, man, this sword looks crazy. It has fire coming out of it and everything. What? All right, well, time to go for the next one. Imagine if I got this within 10 tries. <coughs> God bless me, please. I was being serious. I would say my first try, but I'm not that lucky. I really like that blade. That's a really cool legendary blade. So what I'm going to do is get the rare swords on both of these eggs, and then I'm going to send you guys an update. So here's a time update. Yeah. Do y'all want to know which egg I'm on? I'm still on the first egg. I knew these swords was going to be super hard to get, but oh my god. I didn't think it was going to be that hard. I'm going to buy the super lucky pass and see if it makes a big difference. So right now, this sword is a 0.15% chance to get. Let's see what the super lucky boost is up to. We have to find out if this is going to make a difference. Oh my gosh, 1300 Robux is crazy. All right, so we got the super lucky and we got the lucky. Oh, that hurts my soul. That's like 1500 Robux right there. Oh, they got a fast hatch too? Oh man, I, you know what? I'm going to buy this too. Uh, Jesus, I'm going shopping right now. Ah, uh, yeah, we're gonna get the fast hash too to make things go by a lot faster. So now it's a 0.4%. So the percentage of getting the last sword went up by 0.35%, which is actually pretty good now. So that should be able to boost our chances a little better. Now let's see. Oh, wow. That moves way faster. That's actually insane. All right, so we're gonna wait again and see if we can get these swords. So I was actually able to get a quick glimpse of what the sword title was called for the last sword in the eggs. They're not called Uniques, they're called the Eternity Blade. So anytime you see a rainbow sword in this game, they're titled Eternity. 
which sounds even better than unique to be honest but i did get the swords out of both of the eggs and they look really sick luckily i was actually able to get two of them at the same time back to back which is crazy so honestly I, as much as i would like to hold two of these i really don't need to so we're gonna get rid of one of them there we go all right so let's see what this bad boy looks so this is what one of the eternal d blades look like they're actually not that bad i think the first blade i got was a lot better just because the whole sword was on fire but this one's still pretty cool and it does over 2,000 damage as for the next egg this one is called the frost morn and the name says enough you can tell this sword is about to be sick just as expected yes this sword is sick all right so we got all the eternities in map three we got all the eternities in map four and we still got so many more maps to go but I think I'm going to take a break on collecting eggs and I'm going to go to the Eternal Hall to see what I can buy. Getting some of the Eternity Blades is easier inside of the Eternal Hall just because you need keys and gems. You use the keys to get gems and then you use the gems to buy the swords. But let's see what I can buy. All right, I don't think I have the Angel Knight yet, so I'm going to buy this. Yes, sir. Bless me up. See, look right there. It says Eternity. All right, we're going to go ahead and get the Seraph Blade. That sword looks sick. Yeah, a lot of these Eternity Blades look really good. All right, next is the Vortex. Oh, wow. And we still got a couple more blades. I already got the Golden Nafanir or whatever, whatever the word is for that. But I still need to get the Vortex, the Golden, the Bitter, and the Samo. Which these two I need to get the Wave for before I can even get these. So I might need to get a little bit stronger. Or I should be strong enough to get to Wave 100 and unlock this sword. But I'm going to come back later to grind the Eternal Hall to get the rest of those swords. So the first one does 405 damage. Completely trash, but it looks really cool. This one has wings on it and everything. Then we got the Angel's Knight. This one's not bad considering it's a really weak sword. And then we also got the Vortex. Oh, now that's sick. It actually has like a Vortex type of effect on it. All right, so now that we got to showcase those, let's go to the Dark Castle next. See, what I'm scared about right now is that these eggs are going into the billions, which means the gem count is starting to go up. So I'm really hoping I can get these Eternity Blades really fast, but I really doubt it. Look at all these rainbow swords I got, man. This looks crazy. What caught me by surprise the most is this stage right here, because I got one of the Eternity Swords on my first try, which was this one. And then I got this one in 43 seconds. But the other swords that were weaker took me a longer time, like 10 minutes, 15, or even 30 minutes. It doesn't make sense, but I guess I'm glad that we was able to get them very early. And I will be showcasing all these swords at the end of the video. But on the bright side, we only have two more stages left to get all the Eternity Blades from, which my next place to go to is Hell. Yeah, Hell. This place is pure evil. I'm hoping my luck rubs off onto this next stage. So far, the only place I was able to actually beat the monsters and hold up my own strength is at the cemetery. I never actually played hell by myself. I was actually carried one time, and that's why I have heaven, which is the most recent update in this game. So I'm gonna see how far I can make it because I'm gonna need to play all the harder stages so I can get more gems. But I can tell if I'm able to go through this whole stage by myself, I would definitely make some good gems. I'm making 200 billion each round right now. Well, I'm going to keep grinding to get a lot of gems. That way I can start opening more eggs. So yeah, enjoy the gameplay. Alright, so your boy is back and I have 26 QD. I don't know how much that is, but just know that's a lot. I'm really hoping this is enough to get both of these eggs, especially because the second one is 96 trillion. So I'm really hoping I could get the Eternal Blade really early so I don't use up all my gems. But let's start off with this one. We'll close these out and come on, man. I have a good feeling that I'm going to get it. I just, I don't know. Look at that. Like, look at all the legendary stuff I'm getting. Okay, I'm not losing that much money, so that's good. That's really good, actually. Let me try to go get the Eternal Blade and we'll be back because I can tell right now it's going to take a little bit. Well, that's actually funny. As soon as I told you guys I was going to be right back, seven seconds later, I ended up getting the Eternal Blade. And this one's called the Arbitration Night Holy Sword. Let me see what this bad boy looking like. Oh my, this joint's huge. All right, now let's try to get this sword now. Oh my God, I'm losing actually a lot of gems right now. I have 19 QD right now. Come on, give me this blade. Wow, we just got the Mysterious. Okay, now all we need is to get the Eternal. Yep, come on, you can do it. Okay, yeah, I ran out of money. I was not lucky enough to get the sword just, so I got to go get some more gems. So let's go try to get some more gems. But on a bright note, we're only three eggs away from getting all the Eternal Blades from all the maps. Once I get the last one from Lava, I just got to get these last two right here. And trust me, I will get them. 
I think the only egg that's going to be a big problem is this one right here. And that's just because the egg costs QD. And it takes a lot of time to get a lot of QD in this game. While grinding for more gems, I was lucky enough to find some sweats playing the final stage in Sword Warriors. Which is good because the heaven stage gives the most gems since it's the hardest stage to beat. So bless these guys because I would not survive one wave in the heaven stage alone. Once I gathered enough diamonds, I went off to the hell stage to try and get the final eternity blade from that stage. And after spending over 100 QD in gems, I finally ended up pulling the blade which I was so glad to get. Just because of all the time I had to put in just to try to get this last blade in that stage. Now this is what you call a sick blade not to mention this blade does 300,000 damage so yeah it's very powerful so we're finally down to the last two eggs of the map once we get the eternity blades from these last two eggs all I gotta do is go straight to the eternal hall and get the rest of those blades and I think we should be good like, look at this whole inventory it's just straight rainbows and I think it's so cool but I did stack up a lot of gems I got like 48 QD so hopefully we do get the eternal blade from this 192 trillion egg Come on, bro. Don't do this to me, man. Don't do this to me. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, my God. I got that really early. Oh, <laughs> Yo, I'm so happy. I'm not going to lie. This definitely gives heaven vibes, but it's a pretty basic blade. All right, cool, cool. Now we're down to the last egg. Come on. Hey, I have faith. Hey, let's all pray together real quick. Please give me this egg. 32 QD is going to go by really fast in this egg section. Uh, I'm not even getting a legendary right now. Wow, just like that, I ran out of QD. Yeah, we're going to come back to this egg. I'm going to go ahead and go to the Eternal Hall and try to get the rest of the other Eternity Blades. Because that's going to be a little easier to do than this. All right, so the last Blades I really need is the Vortex, Golden, the Bitter, and the Samuel. Which the Samuel is going to be really hard to get because I've never made it to wave 120. Just for me to get to wave 100 was hard alone. But me talking is not going to get us anywhere. So let me go ahead and start. I wish I had some teammates, man. I'm here by myself. But I think I could get to wave 100 with ease. The thing that sucks is you actually have to go from like wave 1 all the way up to wave 100. So I got to sit here and even though these guys are weak, I just, I just got to deal with it. I have to go through the, all these waves. These guys are pathetic. Give me something more challenging move see i'm just i'm built different man i'm built different man these monsters are built different bruh this is actually the first time i've been on wave 92 and golly these guys have like 200 hp each oh uh, yeah yeah no 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 we ain't having this bro they about to gang bang me bro no not happening <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and take our reward the thing that sucks here is if you take the left side you get less but if you take the right side you get double the amount but the thing is these cost robux or you got to be lucky to get them in an event or something but i'm gonna go ahead and buy a couple of these or just one for now because it's gonna it's only like 49 robux so it's not too bad that way i can get double the amount plus i get a reward and hopefully we get a mysterious so now i got 32,000 diamonds so i can buy another one of those eternal blades all these and i still did not get one mysterious what's the odds of that i'm not surprised my luck is not that good anyways all right let's see what we got here all right so we're gonna go ahead and buy the vortex yes sir oh my gosh Woo! look at that beauty and that just leaves us with three more to get from the eternal hall now let's see if we can get the wave 120 you gotta be kidding me you really gotta be kidding me i'm about to give up all this damage and it's still standing break 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 no chest should be this strong bro man forget this i'm over this man i'll come back i'll come back all right so now we got enough gems to buy our next sword so we're gonna go ahead and buy the golden i wait no i don't have enough no if i had finished that wave i would have got this ah as of right now i could not find anybody to help me in the eternal hall to get me the wave 120. i'm pretty sure mostly everybody was afk so i'm gonna handle that later on but do you guys remember earlier in the video where i said some of these unique swords is going to cost me robux yeah the swords that you see in each stage that has the stand right here yeah each one is actually an eternity blade alone only part that sucks is they cost robux now this is something i've been debating on for this video because i didn't want to waste robux just buying these swords because i'm not going to use them but it is for part of the video but i did say i was going to collect all the swords for you guys so i'm gonna go ahead and use these robux as much as it's gonna hurt me i really hope you guys enjoy this process of me getting all these swords so make sure y'all like it up for me the swords do help when you need to use them for like certain stages but in this situation they're not useful for me but yeah let's go ahead and start buying all these swords
All right, so the good news is I was able to fill up more of my sword decks. So now we only have four more swords to go inside of the unique section. The bad news is I lost a lot of Robux, so yeah. <sighs> All right, so what's left is actually the hardest swords I need to get, which is going to probably take me a lot of time. I was actually wondering where the last two blades were for this unique section. The Blade of Ruin King, I believe that was a featured sword, just like this sword right here, the World's End. So I can't get that right now. I think that sword is already gone, so that's the only unique sword I might not be able to get. All right, so I'm just venting to you guys, but some of you guys in the Sword Warriors community need some Jesus. So you know I'm doing my thing, collecting all the swords, and I decided to go into the Sword Warriors Discord to try to join up and see if I could get some help. And they actually have a section in the Discord where it says carry, where people can actually help you out or y'all can work together. Tell me why there's people actually in this Discord that's charging you to help you. Like I actually had this guy right here DM me say he could help me, but he wanted a game pass, which I believe is 200 Robux just to help me one time. And I mean, 200 Robux is not a lot, which I don't mind giving. But then this guy decided to say, I can carry you for free if you deserve it. Like, bro, what are you, a god? Like, who are you? You probably some guy drinking Mountain Dew, touching no grass and breathing no air. You probably don't even know what a girl looks like, bro. And you're asking me if I deserve it? Like, what? I was kind of mad that he did that, but I was, you know, you you know be the bigger man and he wasn't the only one there's actually multiple people in that discord charging you to help you and that's what you call kind people i'm glad i found these guys this guy didn't even hesitate to help me we definitely should be able to get the wave 120 in no time i didn't realize how hard wave 120 is currently we're on wave 118 and as you can see there's a guy over there doing mad damage to these monsters and he's barely even killing them I might throw a little bit of attacks here and there, but yeah, I'm not going nowhere near that guy. Oh man, round 120 is gonna be a boss. So what kind of boss is, yo, oh my, oh, oh wow. The boss was actually pretty easy to hurt. Okay, he did mad damage. Wait, does that boss have powers? The boss has powers. Oh, whoa, 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 I'm about to die. I gotta be careful. Almost there, oh, let me dodge. Whoa, almost got hit right there. Uh, yeah. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. I'm here for emotional support. Let's go. Oh my God. Yes, we finally got it. So it's finally official. We're down to our final lap. I was able to buy the last sword in the eternal hall, which is the Samuel of the Tyrant. And this thing does 375,000 damage. And for some reason, I feel like it deserves more damage or something because this sword looks really cool. Like, look at this. It's insane. Plus, it has a nice swing animation to it, too. But yeah, we finally got this and we're down to our last two swords, which one of them I have to explain. See, I remember the boss raid area where I said you had to find this demon sword or whatever. I actually started doing some research on it where I asked people in the Discord what they knew about this sword. And this sword is weak as crap for something that looks super cool. As you can see here, the sword does 810 damage and that's it. And as much as I would love to grind for this sword, apparently this sword is impossible to get now. Unless you had bought the bundle pack a while ago, which you can't get no more. They explained in the Discord like it's a whole time frame thing or something on reason why it takes forever to get this sword or is impossible to get. So this is a sword as much as I would love to grind for. I just can't the last sword i officially need to get is the burning sword of heaven which is in this stage and it's right here this bad boy right here so let's go get these diamonds and get this sword i'm so nervous right now please let me get this sword bro i i'm so nervous right now i'm using i'm losing so many diamonds right now no way bro come on i'm about to lose all my money 91 qd 84 qd come on bro all those QDs and I didn't get it yet? That is depression at its finest. Let's go get some more gems. A few moments later. Why can't I get this sword? I was able to get every single Eternity sword in this game, but I can't get this one. Come on, bro. Oh my gosh. Well, I'll let you guys know when I actually do get the sword for once, but till then, yeah, I gotta just keep working hard I guess I finally got the sword and for all the stress the swords put me through I should break the sword rebuild it break it again put it in soil and burn the soil because that's how hard it was for me to get this last sword not only did I spend thousands and thousands of QD worth of gems I had to find every single way possible to try to get as much luck as possible to get that sword and I didn't even know there was an enchantment section I found out about that because one of my viewers told me so I was able to get this sword get a level 6 enchantment which boosted the sword up by 0.45% chance of getting it and still never got it and this took me four to five days just to get this one sword I mean honestly I have to say the sword looks really sick but we finally got the last sword and we finally got all the unique swords I could 
get inside of Sword Warriors. And I forgot to mention, this sword alone does 942,000 damage without any stars or any boost on it. So that's actually really good. Don't think I forgot, guys. I'm going to show you guys what each Eternity Blade's damage does in slow motion and also showcase you guys what all the swords look like just so you guys get to see how cool these swords really look. Drop your boy a like, man. You know, I struggled really hard in this game, and for once in my life, I can say I'm tired of heaven, at least in the game. I, you know, Jesus, you know, we, we still cool. I'm, I'm just talking about the game. Enjoy the showcase.